What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon here in Philly, Ohio. I'm hanging out in the shed. It's actually cooled off quite a bit. It started up around 90s earlier in the week, starting to tail off a little bit, which I'm thrilled about. So it's actually quite comfortable in the shed right now. Um, the beer that I'm going to review today is called Haze Double IPA. Uh, and this is a beer from the Treehouse Brewing Company out of Charlton, Massachusetts. Uh, now, I've never had anything from this brewery, and to be honest, I have very few Massachusetts beers in general. I mean, obviously, you get uh, Sam Adams is everywhere, but, you know, I don't really count them. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on Trillium and some of these other really good breweries from Massachusetts, but I, I really haven't seen many beers from New England in general. I know I did one on that Connecticut, um, Central Connecticut something or other, Connecticut Valley, didn't really care for that beer. Um, but don't really see too many New England beers out this way, so I was kind of excited to get this one. Now, this is one that was sent to me by Pete, so I assume he got it somewhere in, in southeastern Pennsylvania, in the Philly area, uh, maybe Delaware, and shipped this out. So I was kind of hyped to, to see it. Uh, now, again, I'm not a huge IPA guy, but it is good to try different varieties. You can't just drink the things you like all the time. Um, and if, you know, the ratings are anything to show, this should be a prime example of what an IPA should taste like. So on Untapped, this gets a 4.48 rating, so very high. Beer Advocate, 4.58. Now, here's the thing that shocked me. If you go to Beer Advocate, they kind of have the scores that are put together by the people that review the beers, and then they have kind of like the aggregate score up at the top. This got 100, a 100 world class. So I think this might be the first or second beer that I've ever had that scored that high. I think one of the Belgian ones Pete sent out previously, I don't know if it was a 99 or 100, but it was somewhere close. Uh, but this gets 100, a score of 100. So I'm going to assume this is probably going to be pretty good, and I'm excited to be able to try it. All right, Treehouse Brewing Company. I've never heard of them, so I looked them up on the website. And it looks like they have their, their hands in a lot of different pies. It looks like they also have a distillery, and it looks like a sandwich company as well was attached to the webpage. So it looks like they're doing quite a few different things. As far as the types of beers they have available, um, they had a bunch of them listed on the site. Overwhelmingly looked like they were IPAs or some variants on that, so double IPAs, hazies, you know, whatever it might be. Um, they did have a few others, though. They had a Pills, a Hellas Lager, a Coffee Stout, so I guess they did have some offerings for those of us that aren't hopheads. But overwhelmingly, it seemed like there was about 10,000 different types of, of IPAs. Also worth noting, when you go to the, the web page, the landing page, I guess one of the first things you see is Welcome to the Juice Factory. J-J-J-U-I-C-E-E-E -E -E Factory. Uh, so I guess they're kind of embracing their um, reputation for being a really good IPA brewery. Um, and, you know, obviously they had lots of different choices for the IPA drinkers. Now, let's read the side of this here. We're excited that you are holding Treehouse Brewing Company's Hop Saturated Double IPA Haze. Haze is a soft and dangerously drinkable beer with flavors and aromas of orange juice, fresh peach, and papaya, offset by a gentle bitterness. It's intentionally flavorful, yet well-balanced. It's a result of our uncompromising dedication to fresh, progressive, delightful beer. We hope you enjoy it with laughter, good cheer, and in the company of those you love. Well, I'm out in this shed by myself, but it is a beautiful day and I'm relaxing, so I guess I'm in the company of those I love. Uh, as far as the glassware today, I'm going with this ModCraft glass. They're a local brewery here in Finley. They do a lot of uh, really good beers. They're big with the IPAs as well. So I figured it seems like an appropriate glass to try out this high-scoring uh, double or imperial IPA. Well, not the greatest pour on my part here. As soon as I opened it, it started to, to froth a bit. Um, but let's take a look at it anyway. Definitely got that hazy look to it. You see the yellow, um, but if you hold it to light, you have a bit of an orange hue there, right? And it's quite hazy. You can't see through it. Um, even if I hold it up to the, the outside light here, I'm not really seeing through it. The head, the head looks really nice. Now I have about a hand and a half's worth of it here, uh, but it does look like it's a kind of nice white frothy head. I don't know what should I do. This is a 100 beer. I can't waste any of it. I want to go like the Euros and just keep pouring it and let it overflow. But I'd be veering in the Mad Dan's territory there. I don't want to step on his toes. Smell. The smell's rather light. For a double or imperial IPA, I was expecting to have like a really big um, hop nose, but it's really not. It is kind of fruity. You pick up a, the nice citrus smell, but it's not, it's not really big with the with the, uh, the hop smell. 
yeah, lightly fruity, maybe a little bit of sweetness. It smells pretty good. All right, let's give it a shot, see if I can make it through this, this head. All right. No matter what I do, I just keep getting more. Look at it, it almost looks like ice cream. The head is so <laughs> nice. It's not really going anywhere either, man. Medium bodied. Um, there's something to this, you can tell. Now, I will say this. The first thing I kind of noted when I took the big sip, you feel the hoppiness kind of in your, your I guess, your throat and your stomach as you kind of drink it. Um, my problem with IPAs has always been they give me heartburn. So I've taken Meprazole, I've been taking it for years for heartburn issues. I don't really dislike IPAs, but the, the hoppiness tends to get me. Um, I, you know, I do notice it, but I don't think it's overwhelming. It's kind of strange because you don't really taste the, the big hop presence, but as you, you drink it, you can kind of pick it up a little bit. Now, as far as the taste, like I said, probably medium bodied. You pick up the fruitiness right away. Um, I know it said it had notes of peaches, papaya, and that kind of stuff. I would say I'd probably pick up more of the citrusy notes first. Um, so it said the orange juice. I pick up the citrus, but I don't think that it's orange juice per se. Um, you do pick up that nice citrus presence. I think you can also taste kind of like a sweeter peach fruit flavor as well. Um, and again, the papaya, I think I said this in one of the other videos, I've never eaten a papaya. I'm not big on mangoes and papayas and those kind of fruits. They tend to be messy and get all over you. Um, so I don't really dig them. So maybe the sweetness is some papaya as well, and I'm just, you know, not well versed in that taste. To me, you do pick up kind of like a peach sweetness, which I quite like. Um, you do pick up a, a, a you know, a, a bit of, of malt, and then you definitely pick up some hoppiness. Um, and again, it's probably more of a, a citrus hoppiness, I think. But it works pretty well with, with what you have going on here. Um, you know, like I said, obviously this is well received and has a hundred rating on Beer Advocate. Um, but the thing that I like about it is a lot of times when you see breweries do IPAs, they seem to think the answer to a better IPA is just cramming more hops into it, right? So if, you know, X amount of hops is good, 10 times X hops is better or squeezing as much as you can into the can. And to me, that's really not a good approach, right? I mean, this is like pizza. I don't know. I'm an East Coast pizza snob and purist. But to me, I don't ever want more than one topping on my pizza. So if I have pizza, I'll get maybe pepperoni or sausage or whatever, one topping. Once you start throwing all that crap on there, it ceases to be a pizza. And it, you know, to me, it takes away from the, the pizza itself. And I view beer as the same thing. Once you start throwing too many ingredients in it, it becomes muddled and it distracts you from the beer itself. This doesn't do that. Um, this is well-balanced, nice flavors. Pick up the citrus, you pick up the fruit, you pick up the hops. But it's not hops for hops sake so you know again when i saw this was a double or a pure ipa i thought oh you know this might be good but it ain't going to be for me this is i could drink this even though i thought a little bit of the hoppiness kind of going down the, the throat when you drink it uh, it's not a bad beer at all it's not too hoppy for those of you that might not be big hop heads but i think for those of you that are hop heads it's still hoppy enough you know that it's there um, and it tastes really good now I, like i said when you went to the website they had a, about a billion different ipas Maybe they have, you know, different varieties, some hoppier than others. Maybe some of them are 10 times the hops in the can, um, but this one isn't. This is a world-class beer, like it says, and I would certainly drink another. So, Treehouse Brewing out of Charlton, Mass., you get a big thumbs up. I'd like to have another one of your beers. If you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. If you've had anything from Treehouse, uh, or any other Massachusetts beers, let me know what you think of them. Like I said, I don't see too many out here, and it's always cool to see what other regions are doing and what kind of uh, beers they're turning out. I mean, I know the New England hazies and IPAs are up in New England, but they got to do other stuff too. So let me know what else is going on in, in New England. Hey, till next time. Cheers.